what's up guys Tuesday morning well it's 624 not 625 but uh, I thought I'm gonna come on and chat to some of you guys before I start my cardio so I don't know where you guys at in the world some people are probably already in the, in the later time of the day so anyways what's happening let me see who's on here So far, nobody. Okay, let's see. I see some hearts and some thumbs ups. And okay, first one in there. Written, written. <laughs> What's up, Hassan, Belgium? I don't mind my allergies. I hate that shit. Never, I never had any allergies until fucking probably I got close to 50. I don't know why. Okay. Oh, we got my boy Scott Fuller in the his house. Also, Robert Timms is on. See, those are the people that get up early. Uh, Matthias says Generation Iron is a good movie. Well... Which part? Part one? I haven't even seen part two. Does that sound stupid? I have not seen part two. Paul Bradley. Robert Timms looks great. Yes, he looks absolutely phenomenal. He's dialing it in very nice. Hello, sir. Are you... Uh, I don't know. I don't know what that means. Uh, we got my T Menace representative, India, just chimed in. Rakesh Udiya. What's up, Rakesh? I see you guys. You can't come in here without me seeing what's happening. Bejinda Singh, uh, you come Punjab? I don't even know where Punjab is, but I heard it before. I know it's some city in, uh, or some city in uh, India. What's up, Osman? What's happening? All right, let me see what we got. Any questions? Good morning. Good morning. Oh, okay. Rakesh says it's Happy Teacher's Day today. All right, see, I don't know. Happy Teacher's Day. Back to you, brother. Uh... Who do you think will win this Mr. Olympia? Um, <laughs> I answered that question too many times. I don't even think about that anymore. Um, Willie, uh, Melbourne, uh, October, sometime in the beginning, in the f like first weekend in October, probably, or second weekend in October. Yes, me and Bob together will host the press conference at the Olympia, absolutely. What's my what for classic physique? I'm sorry, I didn't see that. What's the best pre-workout for me? MPW. Menace Pre-Workout by Dennis James Nutrition. Go online, www.dennisjamesnutrition.com. Go on there, 50% off for everybody right now. Oh, Coast Island from Greece is in the house. What's up? And, of course, Indonesia with Big Paul Colston. In your clinical expert eye let me see if i can hold it if you in your clinical expert eye is bundia having it easy or will have rivals in sergio and ryan i don't think anything's easy at this level of the sport i mean on the highest level at the olympia nobody's walking away easy but uh i think that this will be jeremy's best look ever so you take it for what it's worth and um i believe that he will be coming out on top Come to Sudan? No, hell no. I ain't going to no Sudan. This shit ain't nothing there for me. 
I'm not talking bad about the country, but no, I hear too much stuff coming out of there. That's not really what I'm looking for. So I'm going to chill right here. What's up, Ahmed bin Ramadan from Egypt? What's up? Who will win Physique Olympia, Sergio or Sergi or Bundia? Well, I'll go with Bundia. Watching from Malaysia is Mitch Diao. You guys write so much by the time I, I can't even get to read it before it disappears. What's up, mister from Egypt? You look amazed. Thank you. We are respect you in Egypt. Thank you, Mohammed Farahat. Farahat. I appreciate that. How about coming to India? You gotta talk to Rakesh. Rakesh, if you're watching right now, make it happen. You gotta go back to India. Hi, you're a contact manager for guest posing. I don't guest pose anymore, brother. <laughs> I'm done posing. I can do a guest appearance, but nah, there ain't gonna be no more, no more this. No, done posing. Why don't you come to India for judging Amateur Olympia? Because I'm not a judge. That's why. I'm not a judge. So I'm not judging any shows. Okay. Good morning. I want to speak to you in particular, please. Well, then speak. <laughs> in particular. Gibt es irgendetwas zu deiner Karriere, was du heuer machen würdest als damals, was du heuer anders? Ja, ich würde zum Beispiel ähm, nicht mehr versuchen, dem Ronny seine Masse, äh, ich, also dem, dem nachzurennen und versuchen, genauso schwer und genauso prall zu sein, weil das, denke ich, war für mich ein Fehler und ich hätte wahrscheinlich so, ich hätte meine Linie und die Symmetrie, die ich vorhatte, auf der hätte ich mich drauf versteifen sollen und das wäre wahrscheinlich im Endeffekt besser gewesen für mich, denke ich mir. Aber weiß ich nicht genau. Aber du weißt ja, wie es ist, wenn jemand, äh, der vorne ist, gewinnt, weil er 20, 30 Kilo schwerer ist wie alle anderen, dann versuchst du halt natürlich aufzuholen, ist ganz klar. So, so ist es halt im Sport. What was your biggest off-season weight ever? Uh, 140 kilos. That's like 308 to 310 pounds. How to lose love handles. Stop being in love. Let that handle go. Uh, what's up from Ohio, Lionel, top five, Olympia? Well, I don't know. If Lionel can come in peeled, yeah, he has the shape and everything to do it. But his track record is not that good, so we'll have to see. You know, I, I'd love to see him come in shape and, and literally nail it, you know, because I know what he can look like when he is in shape. And then he's really, really, really dangerous. I mean, for all the guys, because he's big. He's full, he's round, he's got crazy shape, crazy proportions, and got crazy feathered quads, and he's got a nice detailed back. I mean, when he's in shape, and he hasn't been in shape a lot, but when he's in shape, he's really, really impressive. Guys, please don't get mad when I don't respond to hi and hello because there's no need to respond for me, so this is not a question. So, because I get guys that say hi, hey, hi, hi, and then after that, they're gonna send me a message saying, How come you don't ever respond to me? What the fuck you want me to say hi? This is for everybody that says hi, hi, and there's another one, hello, hello, two times back to back, bro. Come on, man, one time hello is good, I understand. <laughs> And hello from München. Okay, okay. Nach, and hello zurück nach München. What do you think about duck stand hack squat from what? I don't. No, I didn't get that. I'm sorry. Come down to Fiji. Well, I've never been there, so I'd like to go. How 
Hi, hey, hi, hi, hey, hey, hi, hello, hi, okay. Dennis, ich werde nächste Woche Vegas sein und oh, ich werde nächste Woche in Vegas sein. Wo und wann kann man dich treffen? Wäre ein Traum, dich einmal zu treffen? Ich bin im Hotel in Orleans, trefft man mich, ich bin überall, wo was abläuft, da wird man, da besteht die Möglichkeit, dass du in mich reinläufst. Also ich kann jetzt mit Sicherheit nicht sagen, dass ich um 2 Uhr in diesem Lokal sitze oder so, aber ich bin auf jeden Fall da. What's up, Manu Natipur from Australia? Don't you think Bonac, that Bonac deserves top three if he comes in good as last year? Well, it depends on who else is coming in good. You know what I mean? He has the tools to move up from last year, absolutely, but we'll have to see who comes in and, and what they look like. See, here's another one. Why are you not replying to us? See, that's good because I don't reply to highs and hellos, so I'm sorry. Uh, I'm from Scotland. Do you think Kai Green will ever compete in the Olympia again? He looks insane. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I almost doubt it, but I, I still want to believe in my heart that he's going to come back to the Olympia. I'm not for himself, but, you know, maybe for his fans, you know. What age did you start training hard? I started training, I started training period with 26, and I stopped at 45, so. Now, well, stopped training hard at 46, so 20 years of hard training. <laughs> what you going to compete against, Matt? When, when are you going to compete? Uh, there's no more competitions for me, guys, please. That question is not necessary because I will not. Um, there's somebody trying to write to me, and I don't know what language that is. It looks look like Arabic. I can't read that. Is Dorian Yates really starting another league? Well, he has already, has already started, so Google it. Waving from Northeast Arizona, I've always liked the way you position and pose your back and legs. Thank you. Um, thank you, sir, for all the information you have given us for free. You are absolutely welcome, Mohammed. My thoughts on Brandon Curry. Brandon Curry needs to be peeled. He's got the size now, but he needs to be peeled. And I'm not talking about one, two body parts. I'm talking about from top to bottom. If he can come in peeled top to bottom, his physique is so beautiful and so dominant in, 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 in a lot of poses that he can move up to the point where he places where he's never placed before. And I'm going to leave it right there. Come to New Zealand. Milo, uh, Milo Strong. I love New Zealand. I've been to Auckland like three times and I loved it every single time. I stayed at the Sky Tower Hotel and uh, I just loved uh, New Zealand. It was absolutely beautiful. I'd like to go, but it's got to be warm. There's another language I don't understand. <laughs> uh, sir, I know so many people ask you for some advice about bodybuilding. Can you advise me about burning fat while having muscle? Mm. Watch your diet. That's number one. Oh, everybody that asks me a question like the way you just asked me, all the guys that eat all kind of bullshit and, think, and then wonder why they train but they don't lose any fat. I don't speak in this language. I'm sorry. Do you think about Big Rami? His team think he will win this year, and Big Rami said, in, in, "Is in my heart, I am ready to will win." Well, this is the way. This is the approach you should have. You should always come and say, "You know, you should train to win. You should not train to place third, fourth, or fifth. So, you know, if somebody, because there's about six, seven guys saying right now they're going to come in to win. So, we'll have to see who shows up on stage. 
ready. Because it's easy to say I'm ready, you know, uh, uh, two weeks out, three weeks out, five days out, two days out. It shows, it, 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 it's decided on stage. But I'll tell you this, if he comes in shape, 100% condition, it will be a beautiful battle. Asked you about I asked you about GHRP6. How can I use it? I don't know. You know what? Ask the person that give it to you. That's the person you should ask. You asking me? I don't know. Ask the person that sells that stuff to you or that gives it to you how to use it. Simple as that. I don't know why you asking me. I didn't give it to you. I didn't tell you to use it. So I don't know how to use it. I'm the wrong person to ask. What do I think about Jeremy Bundia's condition for the Olympia? I think he is absolutely nailing his condition this year. Have I ever been fat and out of shape? Well, I've been out of shape before, but I don't think I've ever been really fat. I wouldn't be able to watch myself being fat. So, I mean, for us, we call each other fat when we're puffy, but no, nah, fat from probably what you think fat is? No, nah, I've never been fat. Thank you, Priscilla. Priscilla, what's up? Grüße zurück an die Ostsee, Sebastian Schwarz. Moin. Where did I get my Samoan tattoo? In Australia. By a Samoan. Have I ever thought about stepping back on stage one last time? Let me think. No. I already did my last time. That was back in 2012, the Masters. <laughs> Have you ever had shoulder issues? If so, what? No, I never had any shoulder. I never had any issues, period. Thank you, Rafael. Um, you're awesome. And thank you. What made you become a bodybuilder? I don't really know. A hundred dollars. Benjamin Franklin made me become a bodybuilder. I know it sounds crazy, but it's true. Hey, Master Games, I like move big Rami like you. Uh, I don't know. What do you think of Ronnie of Ronnie Winkler? Rolly, not Ronnie. Rob Raleigh came a long way, you know. He's definitely a freak now. This guy says, shoo me your arm. Shoo me your arm. Learn how to spell so I know what you're saying. Do you like Samoan tattoo? No, I don't. I just put it on me because I can't stand it. That question was very nice. Do you think Robert Timms will beat Danny? I believe Robert Timms can beat Danny anytime. I believe if you let him compete. Yes, I believe he has the tools to beat him. Absolutely. Tips for a 52-year-old bodybuilder. Keep doing what you're doing. As long as you love it, do it. If you stop loving it, stop doing it. As simple as that. How long should one cycle off and can you double the dose? <laughs> Quadruple the dose, you know what I mean? And then uh, cycle off for about five years. And then when you come back, you get a new bicycle because that old cycle might be out of shape. <laughs> Flex Wheeler's comeback. How will it go? That's something we will see. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a fortune teller. If I was, I would play the lottery and win the Powerball game for sure. Do you think Phil Heath will win again? I believe he, he will, yes. What is your age? My age? I'm a vampire, man. I'm 151 years old. Can you pose a double arm biceps? No, I cannot. I am fat and I need a diet. Well, <laughs> well then go get a diet, brother. Shit, you know, you gotta be somewhere. There gotta be a gym around where you live, you know. Go in there and just ask anybody that looks better than you to tell you what to eat. Because you don't look like somebody that would listen to me. 
how to deal with high uric acid levels well that's something you don't want to play with so you definitely want to go listen to your doctor don't ask me ask your doctor and listen to what he says and follow his instructions guys it's funny why you guys come and ask somebody that's you know like me I'm not I'm not a doctor I've never been to any medical schools so you don't want to ask me because if you find out that your uric acid is high that means you had you must have done a blood test and some doctor had to tell you that it's high so you should he should be the one you ask that question to uh, DJ ever need a K9 trainer I'm your guy I'm good friends with Robert Timms and, and girlfriend Jesse okay what uh, K9 I don't I only have one dog that that won't listen to me but I don't have a lot of dogs so well if I get a few more I will try to contact you because you might be able to teach me how to teach them to listen to what I have to say do you train people online and over the phone? Yes, that's what I do. Absolutely. Milk is good for muscles? <laughs> yes, milk is good. Shit, I grew up on milk. I still drink it to this day with my donuts and my cakes. Priscilla, thank you. You're absolutely great too. And you know you are. I train clients on the internet. Yes, Steve, that's what I do. Contact me at bigdennisjames at gmail.com. How much do I bench? It doesn't really matter because I can't, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't go for max, so. And I don't want to talk about what I did 10 years ago or 15 years ago because that's not what counts. So right now, I don't know. And you know what? It doesn't matter. I don't care how much I bench. What matters for me is... What matters for me? Yeah, is that Rob? Get that. Yeah, get used to it, Robert. Get used to it. <laughs> uh, get used to it. Uh, but what I was saying is, I don't remember. I forgot what I was saying. So if anybody remembers what I was just saying, remind me. Uh, how many eggs can we eat per day for bodybuilding? Well, that's something you need to find out and tell me how many you can eat. I think the best that I ever had was uh, 15 eggs for breakfast, 10 eggs with each meal. I did that one time. That was too many eggs. I was so sick of eggs. Uh, you are such an inspiration. I have left alcohol and cigarettes just because watching your videos. Awesome, bro. And just keep, just, hey, stick to it. Stay consistent. Stay away from that alcohol. And stay away from the damn cigarettes. They don't do shit for you. Can Rami win the Olympia? Yes, of course. Anybody can win. You know, you just need to, uh, you just need to do, uh, you just need to be ready. You just need to be a hundred percent prepared, and whoever is ahead of you need to be off their mark. Thank you, Scott. I appreciate that. I will call on you. You know it. You were saying you're going to compete in the Mr. Olympia 2007. I was saying that, Matt Sarambi, whatever your name is. If that, if you give me one video where I say I'm competing at the Olympia 2017, I'll give you a thousand dollars. Gollum, thank you, brother. What do I think about Kevin this year in the Mr. Oh, nothing, because he's not competing in the OS. Donald Ronald, do your homework. Why do pro bodybuilders die young? Just because one died young don't mean they all die young. Look at how many bodybuilders are still out there. Every Mr. Olympia. We just lost the first Mr. Olympia. Other than that, every Mr. Olympia in the history of the Olympia is still alive. So how do you explain that? So guys, just because one, young, one guy dies young for whatever reason, you cannot put us all under the same rug. You know what I mean? It's not like that. My what's up number? Why, why are you texting me your what's up number? I don't what's up, people. Why people say what's up number? Isn't that your phone number? It doesn't matter if what's up or whatever. It's your phone. Thank you, Hamza. Thank you. All right. All right. I'm going to give you my what's up number now. Whoever wants to what's up me, what's up me. It is... Plus one, which is one is for the United States, six two zero six three six 
0419. All right, I'm not going to repeat that, so whoever got it, you got it. <clears throat> All right, what did I miss? I'm not going to repeat it, but you're smart. Somebody got uh, a computer, computer brain. Will you be part of the press conference at the Olympia this year? Yes, Naimat, I will be a part of the press conference. Please send my WhatsApp, your WhatsApp number. Uh, <laughs> it's too late. You missed it. But hey, you know what? Just since we're in 2017, you can replay this whole video and listen to it again. Is that smart? You see? Shit. Some people don't even know. You can rewind. You can watch it again and listen to the number. But please, guys, don't call or text only between 7 and 11. Okay? Please. Okay, please tell me one main calf exercise which can increase the size. One, calf races. <clears throat> Took me about two seconds to figure that out. Calf races, my brother. High cardio in morning without food is good to cut. Yes, you know, don't eat. Just do cardio. Okay, this guy's, I don't know what language that is. Please use a translator, you guys. I speak a few languages, but I don't speak it. I, uh, this is, I don't know what that is. Thank you, John Edwards. Hey, sugar. What's up, sweet? I'm very tiny, somebody says. I'm very tiny. Well, I'm very sorry to hear that. Can we have a shout out to the what? Sion Tatman, Slamba City. What's happening? Tell me a strong diet. A strong diet? That's a that's a bench pressing donut. That's a strong diet. A bench pressing donut. Do you like to get depressed when you haven't worked? I don't get depressed, bro. No, I ain't got nothing to do with being depressed. Now that's for weak people. Nope. Cardio every day is good, yes, especially when you're fat. I've been stuck around 16 stones for over a year now. Any tips how can I wait, how I can put weight? I don't even know what 16 stones is. What's a stone? I know in England they use that, but I don't know what a stone is. Uh, Heinemann, whatever. Hey, can you fight me? I can slap the shit out of you. I won't fight you. <laughs> Stupid questions, man. You take them questions and take them to your girlfriend. If you want to act tough, take them to your girlfriend and ask her if she can fight you. What's the best supplement brand you do recommend? Mm, there's only one. Dennis James Nutrition. Remember that. Let me repeat that. Dennis James Nutrition. And for the ones that don't understand English, the Dennis a Dennis a Nutritionist. There you go. Got it in all languages. I'm just bullshitting, guys. Dennis James Nutrition is where it's at, though. Hi, sir. I'm from India. For cutting, I do everyday cardio 20 minutes after workout. Well, that's the start. Pretty sure you need a little more, but, you know, work yourself up. Everything's 50% off, Patrick Carter. You right. Everything's 50%. No middleman. Wholesale price for everybody. It's 7.30 here in Sri Lanka. Did not know that you are uh, Ellery in early in the morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning to you in Sri Lanka. Um, I'm dying laughing. Yeah, Elizabeth. Don't die, please. What are my top three favorite bodybuilders of all time? Lee Haney, Kevin LeBron, and Flex Wheeler. 
There you have them. Do you do quads and hamstrings on separate days? Yes. I suggest you'll split them up in two different days. What's the sodium plays weeks before the show? Oh, brother, 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 brother. Have you seen Phil recently? How does he look? Uh, I believe Phil's on the money and ready to do some damage. My thoughts on Ronnie Coleman. Ronnie Coleman is the GOAT. Best of all time. Do you take PEDs or any performance enhancers? Just wondering. Well, I take a baby aspirin every morning. Every morning. And I take the MSS, which is the Menace Super Shredder Fat Burner. Which gives you a little focus, too. So I like it because it performance enhances me. Phil looks nasty. Well, shout out, shout out to what? Somebody said that number was wrong. You crazy as hell. You're trying to tell me I don't know my own number? Come on. Respect Dennis James all my life. Thank you, Stacy Marius. Can I train one muscle in one day, such as Monday, chest, Tuesday, back? Yes, you can, brother. You can do whatever you want to do. Just put your mind to it. You can do whatever you want. What was your job before bodybuilding? My job before bodybuilding was doing nothing. That's a hard job, man. Twenty-four Doing nothing for 24 hours, <laughs> that's hard work. We're talking hard labor. Did you naturally go bald? No, I... I I did laser hair removal. What do you think about Sadiq Hachovic this Olympia? Sadiq will be a much better version of him last year. But of course, we'll have to see what it looks like next to all the other guys because I think it's going to be a way better show than it was last year. Hey, it's Ellie. I help you. Hey, what's up, Ellie? Protein Nutella. What's happening? Yeah, that stuff is awesome. I want to see you next, Mr. Olympia. Yeah, I want to see you in the next Mr. Olympia, too. Why Dex, Dex, Dexter Jackson only won once? Why are you not even in the show? Why are you asking me if he only won once? Because somebody else was better on the other times. That's just as simple as that. Why are you not in the Olympia? Why are you cheerleading from, from, from right behind the damn screen on the computer? What do you think of Chris Bumstead? Does he stand a chance? Absolutely. Yes, he stand a chance. What's my body fat right now? Shit, I don't know. I have no idea. I don't sit around messing with my body fat. I don't, nah, I don't care. As long as I can see my abs, I'm happy. At 51 years of age, if I can see my abs, I'm okay. What's your natural body type? I don't even know. What's my morning regimen? Get up, coffee, cardio. But today it was get up, coffee, talking to you guys, and then cardio. Training, thanks a lot. Yeah, well, I'm glad I can help you. Well, LA, let's do something. I'll be in Australia in October. Maybe we can connect somehow and see what we can arrange. You know what I mean? 
Send me an email, bigdennisjames at gmail.com. Give me some, some kind of contact information where I can get in touch with you when I'm in Australia. Talal Basha. So long as you're free, best bin ich auch zufrieden. Das freut mich aber. Thank you, Punar. Thank you. How to bulk on a budget. Budget bulk. That's what it's called. Budget bulk. You look at the budget, you get what you can, and you bulk from that. Do I miss Thailand? Uh, no. No, I lived there 15 years. I know every everything about Thailand, so I don't really miss it. I mean, I still have all the memories in my head, you know. Thank God for the internet. I can see whatever I want to see. I would come to the body power if they invite me. I never I never got an invitation from England. So I mean England doesn't like Dennis James. Now don't ask me why. I mean it's just strange. All my life my whole my career, I never once I went to I went to Wales and to Ireland one time, but that's it. England, there was never. Was schon in Slovakia? Ja, natürlich war ich schon in der Slowakei, in Bratislava. What would you, that's a good one. What, what would you recommend to someone who keeps getting different feedback from the judges on what they need to change to place? Well, you need to get somebody, you need to get with somebody that will tell you the truth. And then, uh, you need to work with somebody that looks at you and that really has an eye and, and, and is giving you an honest opinion. You don't need nobody that rubs your back and tells you you look great. Okay? So all the people in the gym and just cheerleaders, they're going to tell you nobody can stop you. That's not what you need. You need somebody that's going to look at you and tell you exactly where you're lacking or where your weak body parts are and what you need to do in order to bring them up. That's all you can do. You can ask judges every time you don't win, but you will never really find out what the issue is because you need to make you need to look at yourself you need to have somebody that gives you a second pair of eyes that tells you exactly what you have to do in order to be as perfect as possible does off season is necessary yes uh, i guess if that's what you're asking kai green underdog <laughs> <laughs> Oh, guys, if you, <laughs> how much cardio do you think we should do a day? You, an hour. Do you believe faster cardio can eat away at muscle? It's going to eat the chicken for you, you know what I mean? You better, you better hurry up and do your cardio before your cardio eats your breakfast. I'm a chocoholic, and yours a whole lot of. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm six foot tall, 265, 25 percent body fat. Damn, you fat! What would you? What be my risky comp weight? Well, with 25 percent, you need to come down to 200 pounds, brother. 25 percent body fat, for dude. You fat. I gotta give it to you. That's the way I feel it right now. You fat. You need to lose about 20% body fat. So if you weigh 265, take about 20% off of that. You fat. Have I done any Hollywood movies? No. <laughs> Trust me, if I would have done a Hollywood movie, you would know about it. Andre, holy, holy old bill, kartoffel or rice? For me, rice. For manche kartoffel, jeder so wie er will. Ich bin, Uwe, ich bin ab 21. September in Deutschland und nehme auch noch Trainings an. Vom 21. bis zum 27. September kann man mich noch buchen für Trainings in Deutschland. Und äh, falls einer Interesse hat, ich habe noch ein paar Plätze frei. Falls jemand Interesse hat, bigdennisjames at gmail.com könnt ihr mich anschreiben und dann können wir was arrangieren. Dann gibt es ein paar auf die Ohren für euch. Al 
I do it. I'm glad my advice helped you. My husband is a bodybuilder and drives me crazy when he starts dieting. How do I put up with the mood swings? Shit, I feel you on that. How do you put up? If, if you're cooking his meals, threaten him that if he doesn't chill out, you won't cook. 